Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. I gotta say, after a long day of work, doing nothing but cutting lemons and limes <laughs> all by yourself, <sighs> there's nothing better than playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Am I right, nope. Marty? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to be playing video games and not working today. Yeah, she's had a long, hard day at work. We're on Chapter 8. It's 10.55 p.m. Detective Zhao is scheduled to be executed at 11 p.m. Oh, yeah! So I, I guess... forgot we were having an execution. So, yeah. Let's get on that. Okay. It's 10.55 p.m. The quintessential music goes. I went to try and rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere. But this time, there's something even stranger about it. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, Bailey. <laughs> An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. But even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? Oh crap, my tag issue is on my shirt. I'll have to cut that out later. <sighs> so, how is it going <laughs> with the generator in the basement? Why is he dancing? <laughs> They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. <laughs> I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even he any more here anymore at all. You promised not to talk about that. Look, would you knock it off with the weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. This? This is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. I think that's what I would do. <laughs> this is like what I look the like The best when animation I'm, yeah, ever. This is, great. <laughs> this is special detention calling from the deaf chamber. Deaf chamber, deaf chamber, deaf chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch da black down here, though, until they get the generator going again. You should just have, uh, instead of us saying death chamber, you should just have Knuckles say, uh, we're down at the death chamber, and then, like, cut out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh, boy, we can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? <laughs> yep. You should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Once the generator's back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what cemented Bailey as one of my favorite characters. Wait, His panic here? dance. Yeah. Oh, wait, we gotta talk. Because Lynn told us to stop the execution. Generator! Still not up? I can't keep this up much longer! <laughs> Believe me, nobody is asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead, then? Me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it! <laughs> if that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. <laughs> what the heck? Did he just go double time? <laughs> Despite how it looks, this situation pre seems pretty serious. Bailey's dance is... Uh... Certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber, eh? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. <laughs> or I could just wait. Oh, wait, it's, it's an hour. Uh, I've got... Uh, <laughs> I have one minute till the... Execution. execution. <laughs> you, you don't... Let, you let the guy get executed just to watch Bailey dance in double time? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's so... This is one of the best pieces of animation in any video game ever. I just want to say... Yeah. Coupled of the, the conga music. Okay, we want to go to the internal extension. <laughs> or we could go back to the chicken kitchen. <laughs> or yeah, the no. junkyard. Upper row of cells, lower row of cells, special detention. Um... Trick time. This is not good. Not good at all. 
Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up at any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. But who? I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is gonna be fixed soon, so I guess we, we should hang tight. Generator, eh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. Seems that's the first thing that has to be done. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. <laughs> Whoa! That guy looked like a machine and a man next door. He had, if, he had like, wrenches coming out of him before. <laughs> Ooh, use the power, uh, supply. Try that. This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Hmm, but it doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to really tell it, though. Guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. Oh, jeez. Where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. I've seen these fiends before. Some kind of tool for turning fiends. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy. It won't budge. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the guy is still digging with his spoon. I think he's asleep, actually. <laughs> he's like, nobody will notice me if I just keep digging. I don't know where to go or what to do. Well, you're only in this one part of the room. There was more to do over in the other room. No, there's not. Oh, lame. Oh, <laughs> fail! <laughs> just hope that- just wait here and hope that he finds the wrench. How did that work? Well, what well, would that you're do? Not, maybe he'll pick up the wrench and you can get closer. He's still thinking. He's being dumb. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> That's a lot of the NPCs in this game. Yeah, like all the policemen in that <laughs> scene. This looks like a good spot to find some ingredients. <laughs> I suppose you could try going to a different part of the prison. Okay. Or you could use the internal phone. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> guard room, upper row of cells, lower row of cells. We were in the guard room before. We could go back see Bailey dance some more. Trick time. Oh. Wow, I wonder what in the world happened here. I have to look for Detective Jowd. But, uh, should I try to do something about this situation first? Nah. Oh, also, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> the emergency button. This is Jowd's room. I will open up the picture book. Book. Um. I'm staying alive. Actually, we're not staying alive. <laughs> Sissel does not like the Bee Gees. Thank God we don't have uh, time passing currently. <laughs> Even in the real world. Like, this is like the longest minute ever. <laughs> I'm just gonna press the emergency button and see what happens. I better not set off the emergency alarm right now. The inside of my head is already in a state of emergency as it is. Aww, I thought that could work. Maybe that would, like, trigger power supply. <laughs> emergency Chicken. power. <laughs> okay, we're going to the upper row of cells, it seems. Let's see where the guitar guy is. Trick time. So he's on the left. Or I hit the emergency button. That room is empty. I was checking to make sure it was still empty. What did you think was gonna be in there, like a homeless guy? I don't know. Freddy Fazbear. Uh, Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> Freddy Fazbear. Um, Freddy Fazbeard. 
can't get over there. No, you can't. Let me see if I can examine this. It's no use. No matter how many times I try, I still can't read what it says. It's different from the one in the prisoner D99 cell. I can tell something is written on this one. I'm glad my task wasn't to find out what this particular board says. I actually don't remember what we're supposed to do here. Yeah. No kidding. Go back and see Bailey's dance while we think about it. Okay. Doesn't anybody understand how this feels to dance in the dark with nobody watching? Well, there's one thing you don't have to worry about. What's that? Even if the lights come back on, the nobody watching part ain't gonna change. What did you say to me? That does it. Now you've made me all the more determined to dance. <laughs> Trick time. <laughs> so we can't actually do anything in this room except use the phone. <laughs> oh well. Somebody's gonna die anyway. <laughs> You know those, like, compilation things where they'll be like, date- Oh, maybe we should do the external line. You know what? Uh, yeah. Go to the junkyard. Oh, we're going there? Okay. Good thing, like, a minute has passed. Yeah, I know. Fancy meeting you here. How goes it with your quest? Somehow I find myself roped into saving the life of a death row prisoner now. But this prisoner apparently knows me. I don't know if saving him is the right thing to do or the wrong thing. Here, let me share something with you. Wisdom? What's that? When you don't know whether something is right or wrong, go with what you believe deep down, and you'll find out in the end if you were right. Remember that. This is kind of turning into a lecture series. <laughs> when you get old like me, you start wanting to show off your wisdom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> I guarantee there's nothing new in the ladies' apartment. Aww, I wanted to... Maybe... Nah. What about the park? Uh... <laughs> super's office. The chicken kitchen. Oh, wait, kitchen. is the super's office the... Pigeon man's place. Oh, pigeon man's place. Special investigation. No, he's not. Chief of detectives. Gant is the chief of police. <laughs> I like how we've given him the biggest stink voice. <laughs> oh, look! The chief is wiggling his itchy toes with a troubled look on his face. The chief here. Of course I'm working. I'm right here at headquarters. You've got it all wrong. You're just being silly now. Yeah, I love you too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> huh, I guess he was radioing his wife. Sounds like a complicated relationship. Yeah, who would marry that thing? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm the best guy ever. <laughs> what are you going to do here, Marty? <laughs> Show off a video. <laughs> I don't want to watch anything on TV. This guy doesn't notice anything. Is this the exact same thing? I'm pretty sure it's just gonna show, yeah. <laughs> but we get the epic <laughs> intermission music. He's like, that was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is he even doing? He's just constantly, he's focusing every little last okay. bit of his brain on just scratching his toes. This looks like, when I was looking over initially, that looked like his knee. Oh, what the heck? Like, I was like, ugh. What the, <laughs> what the heck is this? I do know we have to be in the guard room. I wonder what we're supposed to do. Adam. <laughs> How come you want to know? <laughs> oh, those hammocks. Oh, man. He still come on, new dialogue, chicken. please. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright. There's still nothing to do in this room. You gotta do the... We do have to go to the special detention. I know that. Okay. We're in special detention. We're going. Here I am. Trick time. Pull the lever. Again. 
Nothing happened. Hmm. Go over to this side. There's got to be something we can do in here. Yeah, look at look at his body. It looks like he's like a robot. Oh yeah. This is some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to tell. I was checking to make sure that if we hit the lever, it wouldn't like just suddenly work. Yeah, good idea. Oh, hey, go over there. You haven't been over here yet. Water drop. Now we're in the bucket. Oh. What? Yeah, you can possess water drops, apparently. That's weird. Okay, we got that figured out. Oh, hey, there it is. Yeah, okay. Fix. <laughs> There. Done. Where's Jam out, dude? Don't know. Trick time. Oh, wait. Now the lights are back on. And it's 11.04. But what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I'd better see if I can pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. <laughs> I would ask something of you, please go back to Bailey's room. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's some hilarious dialogue there. I forgot you could possess water drops. That's kind of weird. Oh, hang on, yeah. Go back and listen to their dialogue and his thought bubble. Whew, something really bad happened in this room. It's like there was some kind of explosion oh, geez, in here or did something. did they have the electric chair going? And it looks like... The center of the explosion was that thing. That chair. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What, what the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. But that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. D don't be stupid! The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know! <laughs> Inspector Jowd. I guess I was too late. So, when are they gonna pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand up over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. So Detective Jout has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay. This isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. The chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's going to blow up again? We're let loose with the juice. Yikes. Shut up, man. Accidents can happen with anything, after all. But let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Well, why me? It sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm, a chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? First, Bailey's room. Fine. I'm pretty sure there's a really funny piece of dialogue you get there. This panic dance that has been passed down in our family for generations! There's just... One problem with it! Hey! Quit acting so bored and ask me! Ask me! What's the problem, Bailey? Yeah, yeah. What's the problem, Bailey? The problem is, it's hard to know when to stop! <laughs> hey! Quit acting so bored and pay attention! Guess it's hard for you to know when to stop talking, too. Inventory <laughs> time. Okay, there. <laughs> we even come back again. <laughs> I know there's a funny dialogue that I don't think I've gotten before, but. I'll see if it comes back. <laughs> it goes from like the happy Bailey music to like a really <laughs> tense music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, nope, never mind. Maybe it's a different part of the game. 
Trick time. Now try pulling the lever. Power generator, maybe? Hold on, there's water coming down. Oh, it's so... You always get those buttons mixed up. How? <laughs> yeah, there's no way you can reach that far. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Go to the I upper floor. Go to the... Uh, here. Um... Oh, uh, you're gonna need the phone. Oh. This guy's tunnel ain't going anywhere. So go to the phone. Before yeah. before you trick. Before you trick. Water's dropping from there. Okay. No, never mind. Going up there won't do anything. So. No. Changing location ain't gonna do anything, I don't think. Can't reach the toolbox either, okay. Wait. Yeah, let's see. This appears to be some kind of good- Oh, I, I'll give it a try. Uh-oh. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Oh, yeah. Now you pull the lever. Oh, crap. What are we gonna do? Um... Okay. Are we supposed to do it again? Keep, keep doing it, I guess. Ah! I just got a shock! Ghost, 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 ghost. Get his wrench. Good, we didn't kill him. Okay, now you use the water drops to get up to the top. Yeah, just like that. Rock the headpiece. Rock the headpiece. Son of a... <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, that was not nearly as dramatic as I thought. I thought we were gonna dump it on the guy. <laughs> New internal phone. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone, too. Doesn't call outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about that. Oh, we've got it now. There we go. Hey, can you hear me? Where am I? This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll have to give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. No, I don't have as much trash to dig out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. I remember now. About Lynn, Jowd, and the execution. And what about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory. Or trash, as you call it. Sissel? Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry. Must not have been a big, a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess uh, you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't <laughs> mind. <laughs> I, I wanted to of, die! I thought he kind of wanted to die, so yeah. Four minutes before death, a special prison cell block. This is the past. Four minutes before my death? That's right. You'll need to see your own execution. And then we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? 
Lynn told you, didn't she? About what I did? Yes, she did. <laughs> then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. Chicken, 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 chicken. He's also taking big bites. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> it's clogged! <laughs> so he can't get the message to oh, the no. other guy. <laughs> I'm in position. You surprised me something in the trash. He saw it's full. Don't flush it down the toilet, dude! Come on! <laughs> that walk, though! Holy cow! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who walks like that? Nobody! So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, wonder how many years it's been. The last time, you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. But you know... I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Seriously, imagine somebody in real life walking like that. I know. <laughs> Prisoner D99, it's time. Let's go. Alright, men, I'm ready. Sorry to have, for you to have to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, we, we, uh... Oh, well, I guess it's all about collecting Ugh. experiences for you and me. I don't know how I'd feel about that, but... Okay. This is an intense game. <laughs> Prepare to test. Throw the switch! Well, I guess it killed him. So this is an execution, huh? Seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. <laughs> Must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes feats more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. It was a, That was an example of a failed execution. Although the outcome was the same. Failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under the mothballs and I guess it had a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion, <laughs> I don't know about that, then I'd just be executed as planned and I'd still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. He's not making this easy. Yeah. Oof. I do not remember at all how to save him, so... <laughs> what?! <Come laughs> Trick <on>! time! <laughs> it's fine. It's been years! Alright then, four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. This is like... <laughs> what is it? Where's my water? But extreme. <laughs> Where's my life? <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> if I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever bored. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to this whole thing must be the chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? <laughs> Maybe I can just break the chair without it exploding. Maybe. How is it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. Uh, I see! It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. B -b but the chair! It has been used at all time! What if... Bailey, there's nothing we can do now. It's time. Alright, I'll send the guard just to his cell. I'll, I'll have them call when they get into position. Go there, stay here. I mean, I can always go back. Oh no, wait, it's the past! Crap! <laughs> it's fine. No, I think this is where we get the hilarious Bailey dialogue. I hope. 
There's his wine. I have this strange feeling of uneasiness. How about you? How do you feel? I feel jumpy and jittery. I can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. I'll get the video camera ready. Nobody will listen to my concerns. Concerns, huh? So he's worried? That man is always worried about something. And whenever he's worried about whatever he's worried about, it always comes true without fail. Oh, Trick maybe time. we can change his brain. <laughs> yeah, that's the logical thing to no, do. No, <laughs> maybe it's like that weird, like, oh, whatever he thinks about will come true if we make him like think about something else. Marty, do you understand how stupid that's? <laughs> if we change his brain, it'll guarantee to happen. How? No. Magic? No, but he was no. There's that weird. Oh, talk to me. I don't know. Listen to me! That chair is dangerous! I know, Bailey. That's why I don't advise you to sit on it. No, no, no! That's not what I mean! Machines like that are very sensitive to dust! If the guys throw the switch and the chair shorts out, there might be a huge explosion down in that death chamber! Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even if they have a chance that it does pull up, we're way up here. We'll be fine. I know! Why don't we go and test it out first? No way. I don't want to get blown up. You go by yourself. So this spot would be safe, even if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. If the switch in the death chamber is thrown, the chair will blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. It only stands to reason. And if there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. You've hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. You are? Well, I sure ain't. Oh, are we gonna have to go back through time? Yeah, but I wanna see if Bailey will talk more. Okay. Time is passing. Getting the chair getting the chair to short out when nobody has around it, sounds like it could be a plan. But in this past world, I can't just use the phone lines whenever I want. And these guards seem to be in a fog. I doubt they'll be using the phone much. Hmm, maybe I need to start over? Bailey, can you talk? Okay, there's one line while he's dancing. It's, it's freaking hilarious. Okay, nope, never mind. <laughs> so go back. <laughs> maybe it's after you save Jared you can go back. And he's still dancing and he'll talk about something. Trick time! We already seen that. Huh, how's it going down there? Yeah, 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 we, we already did this. I see. I see! Let me start my panic dance! <laughs> Bailey, there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> I'll have them call Stay when they get, here. I'll have them call when they get into their dance positions. <laughs> see if you can possess the guy's keys. I just dropped my keys. <laughs> nope. Maybe not. I can't even face through the wall. Alright, keep keep an eye out for stuff that might appear. Booyah. Nope, wait for him to pick up the phone, Marty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sissel's like, come on. <laughs> How? <laughs> We've been over this before. You don't need to press the trick button. It'll automatically do it while we're on the phone. Oh. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Go there, stay here. We're going. We can't do I'm gone. Dang, that animation of you going through the phone lines is always cool. It's fun. Bee, 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 Trick time. Bee, bee. There, we escaped from the death chamber. Good for you. It was stuffy in there, wasn't it? That's not exactly what I was worried about. All right, what now? Hmm, stop the execution and save your life. I think I'm getting an idea. You are, are you? I'd be very interested to hear it. Let's just get down there fast. There's nothing in this room, Marty. Ah, go back. <laughs> Hit the emergency button. <laughs> yes, this will solve everything. Hmm, it's not working right now. Maybe they just like things quiet during an execution. This guy's a bit too detached. While I was alive, people thought I was a bit too passionate about things. Oh hey, the note is clogged in the toilet. Open up. A 
All right, my jam grooved out the clock. Now get down there to Sausage Head. Go, go, go! I'm sure I missed dialogue from him, but it's fine. No, it's fine. In the present world, four minutes into the future, Sausage Head was lying passed out in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have just kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone? So I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. Fate changed. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's going to get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. <laughs> Ring that bell. Actually, yeah. I have to use the spoon, mm. don't I? Probably. Don't keep licking the spoon! <laughs> yeah, perfect. Go to spoon. You were on the spoon! Oh, 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 no, 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 actually, no, this could work. This could work. I forgot you could use the spoon to jump to his cell. Wait, oh, what? Oh, nap again on his hand. Oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, that guy's napkin gets flushed down the toilet. Remember? Oh, yeah. Possess his nap. Try possessing his napkin. Go, go, go. Clue, you sure can pack it away. A detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. And you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe some, something here will give me an idea. Yeah, just down the napkin. What about the wastebasket? What about it? Open it. I mean, Jowd can open it himself, but I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> That's <laughs> why. <laughs> That's why you wanted to do it. It's called art. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? That huge can just went flying up into the air. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup? I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of the stuff. I probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm, just can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. But it did kind of make a red O mark. Yeah, we're gonna keep possessing the napkin. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see. I remember now. You have to make the napkin stain to that. And then flush and it down the toilet so it's... Uh, so the curry guy will be like, Oh, yes, it's the bull. Oh, wait, that is, I don't know. <laughs> <That's> how... <laughs> what was that? I like his big lips. I don't know. This feed is as full as I am. Why won't it get the stain? Because oh. he's not going to be like, Oh, look, a red stain <laughs> on the wall. A smear. <laughs> oh, I think I did it the wrong timing then. Yeah, but that's fine. You didn't know that that was going to happen. Because he's going to see the note be like, Shrugs. So yeah, you might have to go back to the fate change. I'm not sure if the curry guy ever talks. So. It's like that weird Japanese, like the in every Japanese anime or like Studio Ghibli, you'll have the. <laughs> there's the key guy. Like, no, there's a there's a so many shows where it's just the guy that grunts. Princess, uh, we have to I go uh, uh, save. Uh, 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 <laughs> Just realized I gave the curry guy like the chef's voice from uh, the Trials and Tribulations. Ooh la la, welcome to the restaurant. Did I seriously miss the timing? Don't worry about it. There we go. Forget about it. Alright, so yeah, you'll have to possess the waste basket and wait until he's like walks over there with the napkin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Those pieces of chicken are bigger than you are. He is kind of fat, though. For being in prison. <laughs> Shoot. So he's gonna have to, like... It's called Muscle Marty. Okay. Now. <laughs> he's like, well, that was weird. <laughs> This feed is as full as I am. Uh, are you on the map? You're not on the napkin! <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, you might be able to jump him. No, oh, probably not. No. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. It, nope. Sorry, Marty. No! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need to be, does it? Yeah, you do. we need to be on the napkin or else we're stuck here. But I thought the guy would still get the thing. Yeah, he will, but we can't get over there now. <laughs> Oh, there's something new. Are you really supposed to be flushing fiends like that down the toilet? Well, what could I do? The wastebasket was full. I told you I hate cleaning up. Yeah, you said that, but come on, really? <laughs> He's like, think about what you've done. <laughs> That's the face of um, disapproval. <laughs> Bob Ross is disappointed. Are you just gonna, are you just gonna sit around here and waste more time on the video, or are you gonna go back to after the change? <laughs> What is with this machine in his, like, it's so weird. It's for his brain. <laughs> what does it do? In your brain. It makes his brain big. <laughs> his head is floppy like jello. It's very bizarre. All right, let's try this again. Waste basket. <laughs> Wait until the napkin comes up. <laughs> Yeah. Did I mention I was working all day? <laughs> Cutting lemons and limes and that dealing with a DJ okay. who wanted the center spot at the wedding? Oh my gosh, yeah. For context, I'm... I'm a person... Oh, yeah, we have to do the napkin. Perfect. <laughs> we aren't forgetting that again! <laughs> you know, for context, I, like, work at weddings, and this DJ was giving me all this flack, just like, I want to move my DJ table to the middle of the room! But we couldn't... Because I'm going to be dancing, I'm the wife of the yeah, party, I'm yeah, the DJ. Yeah, I was like, okay, no, you can't do that. But it was he was so infuriating, he got, made my boss mad, and made, like, all these people mad. Alright, so wait for him to pull up. He's passing. And then you need to possess his spoon. Okay. I'll take your word for it. What is taking him so long? So he's, he's fat, okay? Okay, well... Alright, try now. Boom. Yay! I got the red circle. <laughs> Sausage Head sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the O paper, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Well, we, he was down there before. Yeah, but we couldn't go down there with him. If, if now we're up here, we'll look down there. I don't think you understand what's happening. Probably not. Here comes my escorts. Uh-oh. I haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. The path to the chair, that is. What do I do? We're doing the right thing. Relax. Chillax. You know you love me. All right, now... Oh. I think I just may have found the path I've been looking for. The one path that will let me stop your execution and save your life. Well, well, I'm very impressed. Because all I can see is a pitch black dead end tunnel. Okay, time is running out. Now for the finishing touches. Wait for him to lower the spoon a bit. All right, you see what we have to do now? No, the power's already on. Pull the lever, Kronk. Before it goes down there? Yeah. Oh. Chair blows up early before he gets there. Boom, everyone lives. Oh. And then they're just like, man, what happened down there? Whoa, what just happened? The power's down throughout the whole facility. No, no, no way. If the, if the power's down, that means... Oh, the cell bar's open automatic. That's terrible That's terrible, design. what the heck? Damn it! The internal phones aren't working either! State of emergency! Now the execution can't be carried out, and your life is saved. Fate averted! But so are all these prisoners. You're a pretty daring guy! 
I really enjoyed myself, but I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Yup, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. That's a major drawback! <laughs> the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. So in other words, now this is the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. Yeah. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon? Huh? You'll see when we get back, Sizzle. It's gonna be like, super quick. It's gonna be like, the lights are out for like 10 seconds. Now the execution can't be carried out, and Detective Jout is safe for the moment. A new present has been born. However, Jout still isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. Yeah, that's the really tough puzzle. Just helping him break out of prison. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much what everyone unanimously agrees is the toughest and most annoying puzzle in the game. Great. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody! Yeah. Next episode, exp expect a lot more not possessing the napkin in time. Yeah. <laughs> also, a lot of scenes where you're just like, wait, that happens? That's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> where basically it's like, I, I'll, I mean, I'll get there when yeah, we get yeah. there. We look forward to that ridiculous. next time, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>